Barber, Wikipedia article audio. A barber is a person whose occupation is mainly to cut, dress, groom, style and shave men's and boys' hair. A barber's place of work is known as a barber shop or a barber's. Barber shops are also places of social interaction and public discourse. In some instances, barber shops are also public forums. They are the locations of open debates, voicing public concerns, and engaging citizens in discussions about contemporary issues. They were also influential in helping shape male identity. In previous times, barbers also performed surgery and dentistry. With the development of safety razors and the decreasing prevalence of beards, in English-speaking cultures, most barbers now specialize in cutting men's scalp hair as opposed to facial hair. Terminology History In modern times, the term barber is used both as a professional title and to refer to hairdressers who specialize in men's hair. Historically, all hairdressers were considered barbers. In the 20th century, the profession of cosmetology branched off from barbering, and today hairdressers may be licensed as either barbers or cosmetologists. Barbers differ with respect to where they work, which services they are licensed to provide, and what name they use to refer to themselves. Part of this terminology difference depends on the regulations in a given location. Different states in the U.S. vary on their labor and licensing laws. For example, in Maryland, a cosmetologist cannot use a straight razor, strictly reserved for barbers. In contrast, in New Jersey both are regulated by the State Board of Cosmetology and there is no longer a legal difference in barbers and cosmetologists, as they are issued the same license and can practice both the art of straight razor shaving, coloring, other chemical work and hair cutting if they choose. In Australia, the official term for a barber is hairdresser, barber is only a popular title for men's hairdressers although not as popular now as it was in the middle of the 20th century. Most would work in a hairdressing salon. The barber's trade has a long history, razors have been found among relics of the Bronze Age in Egypt. In ancient Egyptian culture, barbers were highly respected individuals. Priests and men of medicine are the earliest recorded examples of barbers. Men in ancient Greece would have their beards, hair, and fingernails trimmed and styled by the Kappa Omicron Upsilon Rho Epsilon, in an agora which also served as a social gathering for debates and gossip. Barbering was introduced to Rome by the Greek colonies in Sicily in 296 BC, and barber shops quickly became very popular centers for daily news and gossip. A morning visit to the tonsor became a part of the daily routine, as important as the visit to the public baths, and a young man's first shave was considered an essential part of his coming-of-age ceremony. A few Roman tonsors became wealthy and influential, running shops that were favorite public locations of high society, however, most were simple tradesmen who owned small storefronts or worked in the streets for low prices. 19th century and later Starting from the Middle Ages, barbers often served as surgeons and dentists. In addition to haircutting, hairdressing, and shaving, barbers performed surgery, bloodletting, and leeching, fire cupping, enemas, and the extraction of teeth earning them the name Barber Surgeons. The Barber Pole, featuring red and white spiraling stripes, symbolized different aspects of the craft. Barber Surgeons began to form powerful guilds such as the Worshipful Company of Barbers in London. 
Barbers received higher pay than surgeons until surgeons were entered into British warships during naval wars. Some of the duties of the barber included neck manipulation, cleansing of ears and scalp, draining of boils, fistula, and lancing of cysts with wicks. Barber shops were influential at the turn of the 19th century in the United States as African American businesses that helped to develop African American culture and economy. According to Trudy or Harris, in addition to its status as a gathering place, the black barber shop also functioned as a complicated and often contradictory microcosm of the larger world. It is an environment that can bolster egos and be supportive as well as a place where phony men can be destroyed, or at least highly shamed, from participation in verbal contests and other contests of skill. It is a retreat, a haven, an escape from nagging wives and the cares of the world. It is a place where men can be men. It is a place, in contrast to Gordon's Bar, to be somebody. Equipment In the early 1900s an alternative word for barber, Cairo Tonser, came into use in the USA. The barber Sam Mature, whose interview with Studs Terkel was published in Terkel's 1974 book Working, says a man used to get a haircut every couple weeks. Now he waits a month or two, some of them even longer than that. A lot of people would get manicured and fixed up every week. Most of these people retired, moved away, or passed away. It's all on account of long hair. You take old timers, they wanted to look neat, to be presentable. Now people don't seem to care too much. Despite the economic recession in 2008, the barber shop industry has seen continued positive growth. Animals Training to be a barber is achieved through various means around the world. In the USA, barber training is carried out at barber schools. Cost many states require a barber license in order to practice barbering professionally. The cost of barber school varies from state to state, and also from metro area to metro area. Schools in larger metropolitan areas tend to cost more than those located in more rural towns. Brand names can also affect the cost of barber school. Most barber schools cost between $6,500 and $10,000 to complete. Because each state has different minimums for training hours, the length and cost of the program can vary accordingly. Some schools' tuition includes supplies and textbooks, whereas others do not. Barber license exam fees typically range from $50 to $150. Length Most states require the same amount of training hours for barbers as they do for cosmetologists. The number of hours required ranges from 800 to 2,000 training hours, depending on the state's licensing requirements. Most programs can be completed in 15 months or fewer. Curriculum The barber school curriculum consists of hair cutting, coloring, and styling for men's hair and women's short hair. Chemical processes such as bleaching, dyeing, lightening and relaxing hair may also be taught. All cosmetology disciplines learn safety and sanitation best practices. Barber students can expect to learn some elements of anatomy, physiology, bacteriology, and some small elements of pharmacology. It also teaches facial hair techniques, including traditional and modern shaves. Generally barber programs touch on scalp massage and treatments. Advanced barber training may include custom shave designs. It is more common in barbering schools than other cosmetology disciplines to get some business and ethics education, 
since entrepreneurship is especially common in the barbering trade with many professionals choosing to open their own barber shops. All the skills learned in barber school will be tested at the board exams, which typically feature a written and practical exam. The term barbering when applied to laboratory mice is a behavior where mice will use their teeth to pluck out hairs from the face of cage mates when they groom each other. It is practiced by both male and female mice. The barber plucks the vibrissi of the recipient. The behavior is probably related to social dominance.